peek inside my refrigerator. Doesn't look too bad, right? Well, I'm gonna talk about a couple tips to keeping it clean, but let's look a little bit closer. My first tip is to clean up spills immediately. This is not something I'm very good at. This, what you have here is some sticky strawberry syrup, among other things. As I start taking things out in an effort to clean, I am reminded of another tip. To keep in mind that you share the refrigerator with the other members of your family. And my third tip, label and store your items properly. Before I really start pulling everything out of this refrigerator, I do wanna thank Holly Davis for the comment about refrigerator organization. And I'm really glad you asked Holly because it gave me a chance to clean my fridge. So I'm gonna clean my fridge and then I'm gonna show you guys how I organize our items. My first step was to just to take everything off of the door and then give the door on the inside a really good wipe down. Once I took everything out of the entire refrigerator, I just wiped it down from top to bottom. I used the method cleaner. I really like that wildflower smell. So I used that to wipe everything down. The next thing that I did was to break apart all the shelves that go inside and give that all a wipe down and all the little nooks and crannies along the track and everything. The first way I organize is to group like items together. We eat a lot of yogurt, so I have my yogurt containers in here, plus it's low where the kids can get access to it if they want it. We did get a grocery order the day that I filmed this, so I and I timed that on purpose, so I could show you how I organize things when I load them into the refrigerator. The first thing I have is a section in the bottom right for meats. These are any processed meats or raw meats or anything that's thawing from the freezer, something like that. Those all go here. There used to be a drawer here, but it broke beyond repair. Still grouping like things together, I keep our almond milk and our whole milk together right here. All right, so this is our cheese drawer. Below that, we have the kids' snack drawer. They can have anything they want out of this drawer anytime. I pick fruits and vegetables out myself. I don't have those delivered. I just like to choose those myself. So that's what needs to go in here. I'm really glad I did this. Thank you, Holly, for asking for this. Because I love it, it looks really good. And now we're gonna go look in the freezer. This is really just coffee grounds that got messed up in here. We don't typically use the freezer a lot. We use it for frozen fruits or ice cream, um, but most of our stuff is kept in a refrigerator or pantry. And as a minimalist, I just buy for the week and we eat what we buy. This is what I toss in my smoothies with yogurt. So I just have those all together, grouped together in the freezer.
last thing I did was dump out the ice cubes tray and clean that and clean the back behind it in the, in the freezer and then put it back in. Thanks for watching. I hope this was motivating.